Hey everyone, Mark here. In today's video, I want to show you the latest water fed system for 2024 from Hydrosphere Innovation. It's their Hydrobox Little Giant. It is the most compact, multi stage water fed window cleaning system on the market today. It only measures 24 inches wide, 14 inches deep, and 21 inches high. The Little Giant is perfect for anyone who wants to keep their water fed system inside the vehicle. It takes very little space. They can bring this couple of hose reels for the input, the output, before connecting to their water fed pole. Now you will notice that there's no wheels on this. This isn't on a cart. It just has these feet. Now if you did really need to transport this around a job site, because it's very compact in size, you should have no trouble at all finding a flat dolly at any of the big box stores. Then you can just carry it around that way. But getting back to operating this, keeping this inside the vehicle, the manufacturer was good enough to put together a scenario a video on how uh, you could operate this on the back of a small vehicle and how fast it is to set up and break down. But first a quick overview on how the Little Giant system operates. Over here we have the water input. So you take your garden hose input line. Water goes through the first filter, which is a combined sediment and carbon filter, which will block chlorine in the water as well as any physical particles that could be floating around the customer's lines. From there, the water is transported over to the V8 technology RO membrane. Now, typical RO membranes in the water-fed window cleaning industry are about 4 inches. In this particular case, it's actually an 8-inch. You've got double the surface area for the water to go over, and it actually outputs 1.5 to 2 times the amount of the leading 3-stage water-fed system. So you can get up to a maximum of two, 2 gallons per minute from this, depending on the incoming pressure. Now one thing you also have over here is an inline TDS meter. You can actually see the quality of the water that's going into the system and then compare it to the output. From there it goes finally to a DI filter. Now this is a refillable DI cartridge that's inside there so you can buy just uh, Luke bulk resin whenever you need to refill that and the water outputs through here. Down at the bottom here you have your waste line. Now anytime you have an RO membrane in a system, you'll always have a certain amount of water that goes to the waste. This is uh, carrying out the minerals that the RO has collected. It needs a place to go out. If it didn't, the ROs would die prematurely. Now also over here we have a waste valve. At the maximum, this is ideal for flushing the system, so most of the water will go towards the wayside. But as soon as you want to clean windows, you can bring it to the closed position. There will still be a bit of water coming out through there because, like I said, minerals have to have some place to go out, but it minimizes that by having it at this point. The pressure gauge on the system is letting you know what the pressure is like going into the RO. That's after the, the pre-filter going into the RO. If this is ever, ever showing lower than normal, it could be that your pre-filter is clogged up or your source water pressure is low. Now, something that's really convenient is down in the... Uh, inside bed of the unit, you have a little place to store your filter wrenches. So when it does come time to change out either the pre-filter or the DI, you've got the corresponding wrenches there handy for you. Whenever you don't need them, you can keep them here so you don't lose them. Very handy. And just like any other multi-stage water-fed system, if you are going to be running two poles off the one system, it's usually ideal to put a booster pump in front. It just helps to ensure that you have enough water flow, especially if you're going high up with two operators. And of course, Hydrosphere Innovation has a very popular and reliable booster pump for that. Anyway, enough of my yakking. I promise if you watch to this end of the video that uh, the manufacturer put together a little in-the-field type scenario on how you could operate this out of the out of, uh, back of a vehicle without taking it out. Anyway, check it out. 